Hi, my name is Alex. I'm the senior technician here for Gate Crafters, and today we're going to be showing you how to test voltage on the ES1000 control board. So to start off, we're going to go over the draw of the control board. This is important because people do run the system solar. The draw at rest is 20 milliamps. When you go into operating the parameters or operating the gate, the draw is going to go up to about 100 milliamps. Uh, the first terminal I'm going to go over here is the light terminal. This is going to pulse around 1 to 8 volts DC of about every half second. And this is going to make the light pulse on and off during the operation of the gate. Motor 1 and motor 2 will put out around 11.5 to 12 volts DC to the, to the motors themselves. This is the limit wiring for the limit switches to set up to stop the gate in the open and closed position. Uh, the open circuit voltage is going to be around 10.5 volts between the common and open or closed limit connection. This here is the photo cell for powering low voltage accessories. Uh, the low voltage accessories like an exit wand or, or, a, or a hardwired keypad, things of that nature, are going to be wired here for power. Um, this is also to set up a photo uh, cell, uh, also known as a safety device. You have photo, ground, V plus, and 12 volt. Between V plus and ground, you're going to get around 10 and a half volts. Uh, between 12 volt and ground, you're going to get exactly 12 volts. Uh, it may drop down to 11 and a half depending on what your battery voltage is. On the push terminal here, the open circuit voltage is going to be the same as the limit terminals. It's 10 and a half volts. When you get over to the E-lock terminal here, this is the operated solenoid lock. Um, it'll only trigger from the closed position when going open for, for a pull to open installation and vice versa for a push to uh, open installation. You're going to get exactly 11.8 uh, volts here. Sometimes it'll fluctuate, like I said, depending on the voltage of the battery. So this will conclude the video on testing voltage on the ES1000 control board. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any uh, questions, uh, leave a comment below or feel free to contact us directly.